The first step will be to install a wire spool. Open the case and remove the wire spool hub nut. Orient the wire spool so that the wire exits the spool from the bottom right. Be sure that the drive pin on the feeder engages the socket provided on the spool. Secure the spool with the wire spool hub nut. Set the operating parameters for your process. For stick mode, select CC for constant current. For MIG mode, select CV for constant voltage. The switch marked high and low toggles between the two adjustable feed speed ranges. In the high setting, the entire speed range from 50 to 800 inches per minute can be adjusted using the front panel knob. In the low position, the knob will control speeds ranging from 50 to 400 inches per minute for finer adjustments at lower speeds. The button marked 10A resets the breaker when pressed. To open the wire feed assembly, swing the pressure adjustment knob out and swing the upper roller bracket upwards. Next, feed the wire from the spool into the roller assembly by clipping off the bent end and inserting it into the wire guide. Continue feeding the wire over the rollers into the wire output guide and out through the gun cartridge port. Allow the wire to protrude 2 to 3 inches. Close the rollers and adjust the roller pressure in accordance with the chart inside the front cover. Attach the gun by inserting the wire into the cartridge. Firmly insert the cartridge into the gun port and tighten the gun clamp knob. Attach the trigger connector to the feeder. Attach the voltage sensing cable to the feeder and the opposing clamp to the workpiece. Now connect the gas line to the port on the rear of the feeder and tighten using an 11 16 inch wrench. Connect the cable on the rear of the feeder to a weld lead that is in turn connected to either the positive or negative terminal on the welder, depending on the process you are using. The wire feeder is now ready to operate. Turn on the power and observe the digital display on the front panel. The multifunctioning adjustment knob is used to set both the current and the feed speed. The rocker switches toggle between functions such as manual wire feed, manual purging, trigger wire feed, or continuous wire feed. For additional information, please refer to the operator's manual.